Hi, I am Linda and I'm from Nutrisystem and today we ha are we've taken our Nutrisystem live show on the road. So we are down in Nashville and we dropped by a recording studio for some of our special customers um, which is Sela. Sela has been on the program for a little while. We thought we would we would drop in and just say check in on them. Plus they're doing some recording today so we wanted to talk to them about their music, where they are with Nutrisystem and um, and just kind of catch up on what's going on in Nashville. So introduce How you yourself. Doing, Linda? Hi. Hey I'm Todd. I'm Amy. And we have uh, Alan but he has like 102 degree temperature yeah. so he is not here today in the studio. But um, but yeah the three of us make up Sela. So welcome. This is so great that to meet to finally meet you guys. We've we've been in contact through email for a long time. We've been we've been just talking to you guys about Nutrisystem and, and so forth. And we have been um, we've been really excited to have you guys on the program. So what you guys have been doing is amazing. You've been sharing on your Facebook page, on Twitter, on Instagram, all of your success. So it is so great. It's so refreshing to see the the type of honesty with which you are approaching this. So so we at Nutrisystem we love to get people's stories on on how well they're doing. It's it's one of the main joys that we have every day when we go into work is to know that we're affecting people's lives and that they're doing all these great things. So so if you guys want to so first I know we have some things to cover. So we were going to talk about your weight loss, but we also want to talk about your your music. So you guys have some double words. So why don't you tell us about those. Yeah, uh, we've been around for about 20 years. Um, we've sold about 5 million albums and uh, singles, and we've won about 8 uh, Dove Awards, I'm which sorry, is the uh, that's okay, <laughs> uh, which is the gospel music equivalent to the Grammys. Um, and um, yeah, what what else? How many albums have we done? I guess we've done. Well, I've been with you guys albums. 11 years, yeah. and I've done like four. No, we just, we, there, it's a lot of music. And we have new stuff coming up. Right. Like, really exciting. In fact, we're in the studio today recording a Christmas song to add to, we're doing a Rose of Bethlehem Deluxe, which is really exciting. Um, I, I'm not a huge Christmas music person. And there, and I say there because I, I'm not on the record, but their Rose of Bethlehem is one of the most beautiful Christmas records I've ever heard. And so I'm really excited that we're doing a deluxe album. We're adding four songs to that. Um, we have a greatest hymns project that comes out. It's kind yeah. of a collection of hymns with some new stuff with on it. Which is gonna be exciting. Yeah. And then a new record in the spring. I think yeah. we just finished the single. So lots of music. It's hard to keep track of it all, but yep. it's. We're and excited. I actually just came out with a solo album. Yes. Or it comes out August twenty sixth. Oh, but the single right. is called "Calling All Fathers." Oh, you guys, especially dads, men out there, you need to listen to this song. I think everyone needs to play it in their church on Father's Day. It is a beautiful beautiful song. I yeah. mean, just, he's a beautiful writer. It's basically just calling us to be the men we're supposed to be, mm -hmm. being the dads that we're supposed to be. There's a lot of times where when I look in the mirror, I don't feel like I measure up. I don't love my wife or my kids the way that I should. And so it's really just a challenge to be better at that, be more intentional at that. So that's, that's what it is. That's great. And, and, and when listening to your music, you have such a unique not just for your individual, but for your for you as a group, you're um, you have such a great blend of of voices, and so how you do that is just amazing. So so I know that I'm not the the music geek. So do you guys like sing it all together, or do you sing separately and you're tuning in? How does that work? I mean, I, I'm just a novice. We here. do different. Sometimes we do our parts individual, depending on like who's the the lead vocal will sing, and then you know, the other two will come in and harmonize, but I think especially on like the really intense, big, heavy stuff, Todd and I do really well singing at the same time. Right. Kind of, so because on stage it's like that, you play off each other, right. you're kind of sensing where the other one's going, and so a lot of times, um, this studio's huge, so we can't actually, we couldn't see yeah, each other yesterday. Yeah, I don't know if you yesterday. can see, there's a room over there, that's where Amy was yesterday, and then this room right behind me is where I was. And so we can hear each other. We couldn't see each other. Right. But, yeah, we just kind of feed off of each other. Yeah. And a, lot a lot of times, of times we record, we'll in do that. the studio we record at, um, we can see each other. And so it's just really helpful to, like, I don't know, because Todd kind of, like, digs in. And, like, right. it's just good to, I don't know, you play off each other. And I think we've sung together so long. We can some, we breathe together a lot now. Like, it's just natural. Um, it wasn't at first, obviously, but 11 years singing with the wow. same person. We kind of, yeah, we kind of just... There's a, I don't know what the word synergy, but you know, I know it's just, a great testament to, I mean, you guys are all, I mean, I know Al is not here, but I know you guys are all great singers and, and individually you have an individual thing that you do and that you bring to kind of the table. And then, then when you combine all those, it's really great. I mean, I, I love it. You guys are, you guys are a, a great band. Thank you. So 
switching gears a little bit into yes. Nutrisystem. So you guys started the program I think it was like five March? months ago. We started yeah. in May. We started so in May. Sorry, you started in May. So this is. So you want to just tell me what it's been like? What does? Uh, what's? What's? What are the changes that you're seeing? Yeah, I, I would say first of all, just huge huge uh, gratitude and thankfulness to Nutrisystem. Like, I mean, we're so grateful for you guys and reaching out to us and saying, hey, what do you think about doing this? Because it really allowed us as a, last year we tried to lose a lot of weight and I think collectively we lost about five pounds. Oh no! <laughs> and, so, and we've all struggled with our weight um, for years. Yeah. And so, you know, you're, you're, you're traveling on planes, you're getting on stage, um, just feeling unhealthy. I've got four girls, uh, I've got twins that are 13 and a 10 year old and a six year old and they're Ellie, Abby, Kate and Charlotte and just playing with them, jumping on the trampoline or swimming and, and having to stop because I'm so exhausted because of how overweight I am. Um, so this has been something that's really been important for us uh, to do because we yeah. need to do it. And so you guys really helped just bring synergy as far as us collectively getting together and going, okay, we're gonna all do this together. We're all gonna be on right. the same plan at the same yep. time. And so, and, okay. And accountability. And accountability. And accountability, I love and it. And if you, if you look at our Sayla Facebook page, you go back a little bit, we literally stood on scales when we were at our top weight yeah. and posted that. What was that like for you? That was really hard. I mean, back in 2010, I did it a, a, a very, very strict, you only ate like 500 calories a day kind of diet. And I lost 80 pounds in 10 months and I felt like a crazy person. And I lost my hair. I mean, I was depleted. Um, I lost all my And I, I did. I mean, I felt like I was starving to death. And I was cheating all the time. And then there's a lot of shame for those of you who diet a lot. You know, that shame comes with, oh, I, I ate outside the plan. And, um, and it was really, really hard. And then I got pregnant and I just gained it all back super fast. I mean, even my doctors were like, you shouldn't gain this much weight in your first trimester. But I'm like, I'm coming off of nothing. <laughs> and so um, getting back to that number was really painful. Yeah. And, and two, you know, you feel like as you're losing weight, you feel good. And you start to feel like victory, like I have this. And so when you gain it back, you start to feel there's all this kind of like shame and guilt that comes with it. And then um, to meet people who are like, you inspired me to lose 100 pounds and look. And I'm like, Wow, I can't yeah. inspire myself to lose one pound right now. What is happening? And so, just feeling all these feelings, just overwhelmed. Um, and I, and so last year we thought we're gonna lose this weight, and I lost like maybe ten pounds, and I gained it back. And um, there was no accountability, and um, and I've done pretty much I could tell you almost every diet known to man, and I failed them all. And we we even had a radio station up in Michigan. Some good friends of ours call us every two every weeks, weeks to check in for accountability. Yep. And we still didn't do it. We, <laughs> you know? they, they were great, but we still did not keep our part of the bargain. And so. I, it just got to be so frustrating to yeah. almost where I would go through periods of like, forget it. I'm not doing anything but eating what I want. And, you know, traveling, like I have a four-year-old at home, and so I would come home, and there would be no groceries in the house, and I'd be exhausted, and I'd be like, let's just order pizza. And so I would start ordering pizza, like, I don't know, once a week. It got so bad in the early days. My two, he, When my four-year-old was two, if the doorbell rang, he would be like, pizza! And I was like, it's the neighbor! I didn't order pizza today! But he just, that was like, you know, Pavlov's dog, like, the doorbell, it's pizza time! And so it just, it, it got, we were out of control. Yeah. And um, and for a long time I would try these, you know, crazy fad diets or something, and then I'd be like, hey guys, wanna do it with me? And they were like, no. Yeah. No, we don't wanna do this with you. So then on the road, one of us would be really strict, and the other two wouldn't, and so then, I'm like, well, they're eating a cheeseburger, so I'm gonna eat it. And so with this, we just, I don't know, we had the email, I don't even know who sent the first email about, hey, should we try this? And I remember thinking, I don't think the boys are gonna go for it. And when they both said, we we really wanna do this, I'm yeah. like, oh, another diet. I, I failed so many. And right. I think it was at that point where I just didn't wanna feel like a failure again. Right. You know, it's hard enough just being a mom and being a wife. And when you add all that kind of just food shame, Agreed. I just didn't, I didn't want to do it again. And they were both so excited and I thought, you know what, I owe it to them and I owe it to myself yeah. to give this one more try. And so I said, okay, I guess I'm in. And honestly, in the weeks leading up to us discussing it, I was like, oh yeah, I'm starting a nutrition system. I mean, I really was not excited. I was not enthusiastic. I mean, I was literally like, 
the boys are going to lose a ton of weight and I'm probably going to lose three pounds like I always do. This is going to be miserable. <laughs> um, but that, I mean, it's just, honestly, it's, it's 30 years of, you know, right. weight issues and, and bullying and all of that stuff. It just, it weighs on you and, and, and you just listen to the self doubt. And so I just, I'm like, okay. And, and then as we actually got together and started talking about doing it, they were so excited and I was like, okay. I could give it a try, but if the food's nasty, I'm out. You that know? that like, was my biggest I concern. Yucky food <laughs> was that anymore. we were going to be eating tree bark because oh, it's like I don't so know what nutrient system, how their food is, how yeah. it tastes. That's true. And it's like if we just you know okay, they're going to give us a, a a month worth of food here, and so I've got to just kind of go through this and eat you know dirt or whatever it's going to taste like. <sighs> I'm so worried. And it's fantastic. I mean, it's the yeah. food really. I'm not there's probably, lie, the first there's probably morning. one one thing that I wasn't crazy about, but everything else I have loved. I mean, I really have. What the you first say? morning, I chose the chocolate muffin. I thought I'm going to start my this plan with chocolate, you know. <laughs> so the first morning, and it's like a really big kind of package, and you're yes. like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. <laughs> and I tore it open, and the muffin is like that big, and I was like, oh, that's the smallest muffin I've ever seen. <laughs> and I was like, okay, it's my breakfast. Like, I'm just going to eat it. And so I ate it and I was like, that was so good. Why can't I have two more? Um, but honestly, yeah, I think food wise, there's only been, I don't like donuts in general. And so I didn't yeah. care for the donut, but my husband, my son ate it. He was like, mommy, you don't want your donut. And he straight up ate that thing like super fast. And was like, this yeah. is so good. Um, and my husband loves it. But yeah, I think there's only been one or two things where I'm like, eh, that's not like Yeah, the cinnamon food. rolls are amazing. Um, the chocolate muffins are the amazing. Biscotti's the biscotti is life changing. <laughs> the biscotti is life changing. No, snack, in my morning coffee. Is, is, is it like the, the chocolate perfect. pretzel bar? Yep, the chocolate pretzel uh, that, bar. That's like, yeah. you know, because we travel so much. So that was another big concern was how realistic is this going to be when we hit the road? Um, because typically it's late, you know, fast food is the only thing that's open. Mm -hmm. And so it's really hard to stay healthy. Right. And with the dry food the packaged food you can go anywhere for a really long time and you can do it and so yeah. with us we we called ahead to um, all of our promoters mm -hmm. and we told them we need you to make these menu items off from of the leaf from the leaf, the leaf. The yeah mm -hmm. nice plug for the website yeah and <laughs> so good what did they make the first show they made the chicken with the like the black beans and the corn and like it, it was, was the chicken with the black beans and corn. You don't it was really good. It was <laughs> so good and it, it was fulfilling. And I, Alan had said right before the show, he said, "Gosh, I don't feel bloaty and full like because normally you would eat, eat, eat real fast yeah. and then like go get ready go to sing, sing. and, it's really and hard. like you feel full." And he said, "Man, I just I feel really great." And I just remember thinking, yeah, I, I don't feel full and gross before I go sing. So it was really nice to have just that healthy dinner that was, you know, a flex meal for us. And um, right. it was great. And and the, the, the promoters are really going, wow, we're excited they're doing this. So we're going to make sure we do this recipe exactly the way it's supposed to be and give them exactly what they need to succeed. And so we're just really grateful wow. for that, for our fans and the people bringing us in who are supporting and not... You know, because sometimes you can email ahead and go, hey, the guys are kind of on a diet. And then you get there and there's still like, you know, Lasagna. cookies and, and <laughs> desserts. And you're like, but I can't have those. You know, and then you're just sitting there staring at a cookie all night long. And the cookie is calling your name. The cookie yes. is saying, hello, the cookie wants you. But I brought cookie. I brought Nutrisystem cookies yeah, for know, after the show. Like I had my oatmeal raisin cookie. So I, it's just, it's manageable. And I don't feel like a crazy person. Well, I think that brings up another really good point. A lot of times, so with what I really like too about this diet is, do you call it a diet? Or you want to say yeah, diet eating or plan, eating plan, whatever. whatever. There's no pills, and there's no, oh, hey, take God. this 30 minutes before and take this 15 minutes later because oh, we, exactly. my wife and I tried that, and it, you know, you forget or you're, you're busy. It's like here's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and these snacks, and then you can eat all these vegetables you want. Oh, the vegetables. And so it mm -hmm. it's so many vegetables. Yeah, it's just, but you get to eat ice cream and you get to eat, you know, oh, pretzels. The ice cream sundae thing. So you you're know. you're not holding yourself back from anything. <laughs> okay. It's just smaller portions. Mm -hmm. So I know. I think yeah. the portion control is really where it's at because I want to have ice cream and I want to have cookies and all that stuff. So I mean, it's great that you can get it in a portion mm -hmm. that's healthy there's no artificial colors or flavors or sweeteners so that part's really great well I and if that. you're looking at even the stats though like i looked at the donut mm -hmm. and then i just kind of googled like krispy cream and i was like okay so it's it's half of the it's less more than half of the fat and you know right and so even if i did feel like i needed something extra during the day and i needed an extra snack outside of the plan 
I don't feel like I'm cheating because I'm like, that only had three grams of fat in it and you know, yeah. it had so few calories. And and so there it's it's really taken away that almost like shame that you have when you just really have a craving. And for us women right? we have more cravings. I think I than men. Know. They they get more I get food, late ladies. Night, late they get night more cravings. food and they lose it faster. I was writing I my husband decided to do it with me. I asked, please do this with me. And of course the first month he lost fourteen and a half pounds. He lost more than me. But I was writing out I love my husband, he's a genius, but he he codes and he's in IT. He's so a he's nerd. like the matrix he's inside really of his head. <laughs> so he can't he doesn't think about like meal prep until he's ravenous. And so um I was like, Well if we're gonna do this, I'm gonna like take care of everything. And so I was writing out like you know, breakfast, he has a Nutrisystem breakfast, and then his snack is this, and then his lunch is this, and, and the power fuels and stuff. And then I was like, why do I feel like this doesn't look right? So then I opened the girl book, and I was like, oh, he gets more carbs than I do. And I was like, you suck. And so, and I wrote it out, and then I even texted the boys a picture of my little, you know, what I wrote out, and, and I put it up on the counter. And so every morning when I go to look, I have boy and girl, I'm reminded he gets more carbs than me. But that's okay, because... Yeah. You can also tell by when we get our snacks that you guys have done the research on when a female needs carbs and doesn't need them. So, like, I don't get them till the afternoon, but it's like the perfect little pick-me-up to have my fruit mm -hmm. in the afternoon with, you know, some nuts or whatever, my oh, yogurt, whatever my power yeah, Chocolate is. pretzel bar, because um, it's a real <laughs> But it is. It's like, okay, you guys have done the research, and I obviously don't need a bunch of carbs in the morning. I'm, right. You know, it's it's good to not have to think about it but yeah. at the same time trying to learn and go so if I'm you know once I'm at my goal weight and I'm not on a plan anymore this is how I need to eat and snack so I mean it's it's almost like a no-brainer really yeah. it's it's really great I we love, love it, it. I we're love so it excited you guys are, we, lo we absolutely love it that you guys are doing it so we talk about you know this the people who are on their journey so you guys are like kind of on your way you're you're not there yet you're, yeah. you still have like goals ahead of you so we are so enjoying watching you on the, on your path and we are, are so happy that you're part of this and that you're kind of kind of part of the family it's really kind of kind of cool so i um i are we getting any questions from lots of comments about how much people love you guys oh no you guys questions. Awesome. <laughs> and, and to everyone who's been praying for us and encouraging us thank you all so much uh, that has meant so much to us so yeah any questions See no. Okay, no great. Okay. So, so we're going to s say thank you again for what you guys are doing for us, and I mean what we're doing together. So this, but you guys are awesome, and we love it that you're that you're on the plan, and that you guys are be and putting yourselves out there with weighing yourselves. But we want to check back in with you and see how you're doing, and we continue to like and share all of your things on Facebook and on on Instagram, all the things that you're doing. So thank you so much for taking this time with us, and uh, and do do you want us to tell how much we lost oh, so far? Well, I have been out of town all week, so I just have my weight from when we did our, our one month weigh in, um, and we're I'm at 13 pounds. So I'm hoping by the time yeah. I get home tomorrow, yeah. well, actually, what's tomorrow? Thursday. I don't usually weigh the day after I fly because I retain water because that's what women do. Um, so Friday, <laughs> I will weigh Friday and I will I will be I will be honest and post whatever that number is and we'll see what it Good is. Good for you. I love your honesty. It's so refreshing. It could be scary, but and we'll see. Alan, who's sick, who's not here, he lost sixteen. He pounds. just said seventeen. He's down another pound. He told he's me the other day he's down another pound. Oh, gosh. So good. And, of course yeah. he is. He's and then, are, so are we? Now I'm I'm probably going to wait until the next month to to post my my. I might. Stuff, it depends but. on how awesome Friday goes, but I'm gonna I'm gonna. <laughs> It's hard though when you're gone for five or six days. Yeah. You don't. You think you're doing. Yeah, you know, I've been on plan, but you know, I, I want to make. Yeah, I always try to wait when I get back in town. Just All right, not for socks off. Tell us how much you. I lost thirty. So. Mm -hmm. No, I mean so congratulations. Good. I know, <laughs> but he's like super. He used to be really like he is athletic. So for me, like going to the gym means I walked for thirty minutes, and he's like, <laughs> I cycled twenty miles, and I did, you know, whatever. I burned nine thousand calories. I'm like, oh, I'm doing that's orange great. theory too. That's oh, uh, yeah, which that's has really been twice great. a week. Yep. Uh, like orange I did it this great. morning, and it was you know fifty minutes, and I I think I burned nine hundred calories. So it's it's great, oh, but great. the food has been the biggest thing because yeah. like late night snacking is that's my downfall. And so knowing that, okay, I've got to do vegetables or I get this snack, but then I can do all these vegetables I need. Those choices and portion control, I mean, that's what's really changed everything. So. Well, right. I've read that it's 80% what you eat and 20% of what your exercise is, which I found really distressing considering the amount of time that I actually spend exercising because I exercise a whole lot. But that 80% is really, you know, your food. So your portion control and, and eating well, I think those are all, all great. So 
So uh, anything else you guys wanted to share? Um, um, you can follow us on Twitter yeah. and uh, Instagram. It's at Sela Online, S-E-L-A-H Online. And also go to Facebook and like our page there and keep up with us because we're going to be updating. Yeah. Uh, we'll post different snacks, um, things like that. So you can, uh, and food that we like and what we're doing. So, yeah. Biscotti, she loves it. No, my next order is going to be all chocolate biscotti and margarita <laughs> pizza. <laughs> You're like, what is wrong with this girl? I want pizza every day and chocolate biscotti every morning. I know, it's really great. It's so, so good. It is. It's so good. Thank you guys so much for taking time. Thank they are you. recording today, so yes. they took extra time out of their schedule for us to, to meet with us. So thank you guys so much, and thanks for being on the program, and thanks we will so check good. back in. Thank See you. Then. Bye.